two things you need. Yeah. Price. Luxury car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact. Well. Well, as a matter of fact, you know, the Lucid Air V, you know, they be in production this week. Okay. Oh boy. Always happy we don't film back to back in a while. Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episodes. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a brand new episode. You can't. Welcome to our brand new episode. Let's start watching episode seven before we filmed it, which would mean you're watching episode six. Welcome back to episode seven, as if yeah. we started. Sure. Okay, let's do it again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode seven of the Spoken Wheel Show. Okay. Their first model is called the Air. Very interesting, very interesting, because Lucid Air, you know, you know, words are very strange these days. How do they have any connection, though? I don't know, I have to look this up. What does Lucid mean? And I do like the material they use for the interior. It's not as like, you know, Tesla's, they like, use one material. Right, This Plastic. is they, they, well, <laughs> you got, I mean, We're not wrong. Have, but Especially if you're going on a road trip to the middle of nowhere. You will not find a Tesla charger. Especially because this isn't a Tesla. 10. MPGE, which again, I don't understand. I don't understand it either. Why don't they just like, miles per gallon electric gallons? But there's not electric. Just, yeah, there's no gallons don't use electricity, so presumably it has something to relate to it. No, Keep the money in the piggy bank <laughs> and save it to go charge up your car. So now it's time to grab some graham crackers and a mug of milk. So now it's time to grab some graham crackers and a mug of milk from the bait. So now it's time to grab some graham crackers and a mug of milk from the coffee shop on the corner of Conversation Street. I did that because I just knew the yeah, car was coming. Yeah, that was gonna help. So now it's time to grab some graham crackers and a mug of milk. And a mug of milk. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. This is the one issue with Bit of an issue. studios. We try again. So now it's time to grab a couple graham crackers and a mug of milk from the coffee shop on the corner of Discussion Drive. One more. That was a good one. The car comes with a five and a half liter flat plane crank. You don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> <laughs> the script. Bit of an issue. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Okay. But there is one bit issue. One bit issue. One bit issue. One bit issue. Intriguing me, Raza. I think I have a bit of issue. And a whopping three horsepower boost from the previous generation car. Now, three horsepower, let me tell you, that's a lot. You're behind the wheel, you feel that extra three horsepower kicking, it's like, whoa! No. I mean, you gotta imagine, like, you you, 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 you got, the, you got the, the carriage, right? Horse carriage. And you got two horses, and you add another horse, that's a big difference, that's a third of the horsepower. Now, let's say you've got 200 horses and your horse carriage. No, you two, two, a, 268 you horses. 268 horses, right? And you add three more. No difference. But then you look your vision. You look your vision. <laughs> and definitely the top of the line Jeep Grand Cherokee should be considered a luxury car. It's very luxurious for a Jeep. And very expensive. That's why it should be considered a luxury car. Yeah. Two yeah. things you need. Yeah. Price. Luxury car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's time to turn up the broiler and roast some of those graham crackers. We all know that Toyota Tundra will be a good car for many people. But but, but what? Oh, oh, the horror. Oh. <laughs> Toyota, oh. Toyota, Toyota. Oh, the horror. Oh, I can't do this. Scene. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>